Hello and welcome to another edition of Bentley Tech EDU. I'm your host and instructor, James Bentley, and I'm going to show you a couple of things today that are pretty cool. A lot of people are asking about storage and where your files are going. How can you get more storage? Really quick, up on the upper left-hand corner, see those three lines? Those three lines have a whole bunch of stuff. Your account information, your preferences. I'm going to click on device info and storage. And you can see that my internal chip has got 11.6 out of uh, 10.5. Now, you'll also see below that I have an SD card, which I'm not utilizing for Adobe Lightroom. Uh, my music and the majority of my images are stored on, the, stored on the available SD card, but Lightroom is running directly through the actual SD card that's inside my machine. Um, Mac kids, I don't know if you can add an additional SD card. Anyway, here we go. Let's take a look at this week's basic information. I have a picture which looks okay. This is an image of my backyard. I'm going to focus on clouds today and making clouds look amazing. Now, as you know, normally I will hit the auto button just to get me started. Today, I think, I mean, there it is, auto. It looks pretty good. Um, by me hitting auto, what it did is it blew the clouds out. The clouds officially look bad. So I got to go in there and dial that in so it looks really nice. The way I'm going to do it is hit the effect button. I'm going to focus primarily on not texture, but clarity and dehaze. I'm going to slide it up a little bit and show you vignettes, which I don't want to touch because once you do it, it's kind of stuck in there. But vignette, well, I might as well just do it. We'll give you black or white around the outside. Um, that's just something that is there that's available for you to use. Now you're probably wondering, hey, how'd you undo it real quickly? Well, way up at the top, right next to the plus sign is that little arrow pointing backwards. That's kind of like a quick undo button, quick undo. So if I was to hit it again, it would undo my instant auto that I did. But let's get started on dehaze and clarity. Now, something you need to pay attention to with clarity is as you bump the clarity up, it starts to create that white haze around the outside edges. So as I, as I push it, you'll really see around that oak tree on the right hand side that there's kind of this white glow around it, which maybe you like, maybe you don't like. I try to avoid it as much as I can, and I got to kind of find the right amount of, I don't know, values to make it look good. Okay, so far looking nice. I think I can make my clouds a bit more dramatic if I really wanted to. Um, let's just talk for a second about how to make very specific, specific areas look really good. So take a look. I slid all the way over and I'm on the left hand side at the very bottom. There's a, like a little circle. If I click it, it opens up the selective edit option. And now I'm going to hit the plus. Now here you go. I have a circle gradation, which I can push and expand. Anything I do within that circle that's red will absolutely turn a color with light or whatever. Whatever I'm after, the effect will happen only in the red. All right. But what I would like to do is actually use a linear gradation. Here we go. I'm going to pull a linear gradation. The way it works is you pick up the blue dot and you can pick the whole thing up. The center line, if you grab on with the finger on the center line, you can rotate it. Just like you can rotate with the center line, you can you pick your finger, point it on that arrow, and you can move and adjust the line as well. Now, who sees that little gray dot? That little gray dot in there is the original kind of a circle gradation that I didn't want to do. So it's there, it's hiding. What does this mean? It means you can do more than one gradation adjustment or mask per, per image. So I'm gonna go all the way back in time to where I don't have that. Let's try it again. We're gonna select a edit, go to a gradation, pull. And I'm gonna do this kind of quick now, now that you know how it works. I'm gonna pick it up, rotate, and hey, go away. 
All right, let's work on the bottom section. Let's get a little bit of light. I'm going to hit it with some exposure. You'll see that as I do it, it's only affecting where that gradation tool was. I, I think it's working. So I'm hitting it with exposure. Let's try a little bit of contrast. I'm not going to worry about the house down below. What I am going to think about is cropping that at a later moment. Okay, I like it. I hit the plus sign. I'm sorry, the check. Feeling good. Let's crop it. Alrighty, I want to get rid of the house. Now I'm going to pay attention to the rule of thirds. As you can see, as I do this, the palm trees are going into the wrong area, which is kind of a bummer. So I'm going to push this out a little bit more, and I'll go like that. I'd rather lose a little bit of my tree on the right-hand side than the palm trees. If you want it, now you don't have to do this, if you want, you can always rotate to make things look a little bit more even. And I think I like that. I hit the check upper right hand corner and I'm done. Looks good. I've got nice palm trees, dramatic clouds. Things look nice. Um, don't know what else I can do with it. Let's just review. Well, what did we learn today? We learned where is your storage? How to apply additional storage space. We learned how to use auto, which is something we covered last week. How to make clouds look way better by hitting them with the effect of clarity and dehaze. And then we also did a little bit of this selective editing. And don't forget, you have to hit the plus to activate the circle or the linear gradation. Once you've got that, you're good to go. Oh, look, by the way, see that little gray box? That's my linear gradation. If I wanted to go back and edit it and tweak it a little bit more, I could, but I'm not gonna worry about that. I'm gonna hit the X on that. And so that's pretty much it. I did a little cropping. I like it. All I gotta do at this point is save it off and I am good to go. Save to my device. Thank you. And that's what I'm gonna save to share with my teacher and get a grade on it. That's it. Enjoy your uh, time working in Lightroom. It's been a pleasure. Don't forget, Bentley Tech EDU is here for you. Have a great day. See you guys. Bye.